All right, guys. So we're here at Patrick's Garage because we were fixing to go on a trail ride and I discovered I had a problem. So I did a little research and found that there are no videos for my problem. So what happened is on the JLs and JTs 20 and up, they went to the newer axles, the M210s and the M220s. Well, apparently the vent or the breather hose where it comes out of the axle can snap off very easily because they're made out of aluminum and they're only pressed in. So I have a little hole now in my axle with no breather tube connect to it, connected to it. There we go. So we're going to fix that. I found a write up online and that is quite literally the only thing that I found about this. So we're going to make a video of it. I know we're not dressed like normal. We're not the normal place, but this is what we've got to work with for today. So let's jump into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, here it is. So here's the little breather tube. There's the broken piece off of it. This is what we've got to work with. So right here, this whole piece is pressed in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it out. I've got a little contraption that I've put together that we're gonna use to get it out. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. But just wanted to at least show you, this is what we're working with. This is the vent hose. And we're gonna get that out. All right, guys. So the first thing we actually gotta do is get this out of the way. So we're gonna unplug there we go. Unclip that, get that. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're also going to get this little plug out of the way. And this just slides out. All right, guys. So I've actually had to pull off the nut for the upper control arm for this to get fit in there. But basically, all I'm using is a quarter inch bolt this one's about four inches long and then i've got a just a socket just big enough to cover the hole or be around the hole but still be able to give leverage and then the tricky part <clears throat> which i'm going to do next is you have to get inside here and attach your little nut to the other side of that all right so i fished my little nut in there there was there's not enough room in here to get the camera in i'm sorry guys so what i've got is the quarter inch bolt and then I've got a nut on the bottom end, a nut on the top end, and I'm going to tighten this one until it pulls it out, which I gotta get up. All right, this is a very, very slow process at this point, but you're just turning your wrench just enough, because I mean, it's a very small area, but you're gonna eventually get that piece pulled out from the bottom. And there it is. There's the broken plug. So now we get to go put a new one in. All right, guys. It's maybe even a couple days later for us, not for you. This turned into a way bigger problem as I was starting to get into stuff. Um, I guess my research wasn't as, as, as well thought out as I'd planned. So you're supposed to have a 37 64th drill bit to do a 3 8 tap. And I looked up the wrong one because I did. I looked up the 3 8 by 18 or 20 or 16, 16. Anywho, nonetheless, we've got it all together. Also, once we did find a drill bit, the drill bit was way too tall to fit. So we've actually had to disassemble a little bit more, drop a whole lot more. So it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's been fun. But anywho, to the point where we're at, I've got a fun little deal. It's got some grease. It's just a, a small rag with some grease in it. Looks that, like a lollipop. <laughs> uh, we're going to put it in the little hole underneath the... Uh, in the plug hole, underneath the hole we're going to drill. And the hope is, is the magnet in it and or the grease or something is going to catch any shavings that we make. So let's go ahead and get that piece in to start. There's that. I can see it. Oh, that worked out great. Okay. So how the little paddle you saw that, that my little paddle what? When I pushed it in there, it got pushed up and over. So it's basically making like a little V or a catch. So that'll be perfect. The next thing, we've got our 3764 on our drill bit. We're going the right way. All 
All right. Nothing left to do but to do it. Yep, I've got it centered on the hole. It ain't going anywhere else. I did, last, the last time you saw we did, we actually pushed that nut out, but we didn't have to completely take the control arm out. Did it go through? Yep, it went through. Man, that was quick. Yeah. It, it barely needed anything. It's, that is not very thick at all. Yeah, some of the grease was caught, or some of the grease caught some metal shavings, but all right. So here's my tap. I've actually covered it in grease as well to help get as much of the shavings as possible as well, because I don't want any shavings in my case if I can get away with it. We're trying not to have to change the diff fluid just yet. There we go, it's cutting. I just didn't have enough downward force. You did a couple threads in it, back it up just a little bit. All right. Yeah, look at all that. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cleaning up is one of the most important things of all of this. You always want to make sure you get as much of the metal shavings and everything else out as you can. Very carefully. Yeah, look at that. It tore it up a little bit, but there's a lot of the shavings on there. All right, so we got it all cleaned out. So I've got my 3 8 insert. So I got a, I know this is a weird, but I couldn't find a 3 8 angle that went to a 3 8 barb but i did find a half inch no quarter it's a quarter 3 8 to quarter yeah a 3 8 to quarter elbow so i got the adapter 3 8 to quarter <laughs> all right it's it's in there there's definitely several threads in there and it's good and tight it's not gonna let water in no it's the biggest thing yep just as I feared. <laughs> Come on. Well, don't forget you gotta jack up the axle. Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with it. It may fit, just barely though. Oh, hey, barely fitting and fitting are all the same all right so we ended up having to go with the straight one and the nut kind of sort of gets in your way it sits against it but it's going to ride against it so it shouldn't cause a problem but right there for the most part is a general <laughs> generalized fixed make sure you put this down around that bolt to help with the rubbing on the hose yes that's what it's there from the factory for from here, we're just gonna put it all back together. I'm gonna put my plug back on here, put my plug back in, and get everything else put back together. So, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like. It's not the best, I think. We didn't pull the axle entirely out, but note, if you did pull the axle entirely out, you actually still have to pull this little spacer right there in order to get that angled one on or get a shorter one but since we didn't pull it off we didn't even pull off the control arm this is going to have to be the way it sits i think it's going to work if it doesn't work i'll update you and we will pull the axle completely out and we will put in a angled one all right guys there we are yep it was quicker than what i thought by a lot by a lot it's not that hard to do if you have the time and you're a very patient person, pulling out the axle might be the easier way to do it. I might not be as impatient. And with work, it's just, it's not my day to day. So <laughs> I just, I got it done. I'm lucky I already had that 3 8 to 3 8 straight piece. I, again, I'd wished I'd had the, the 3 8 to 3 8 angled, but they just, where I went and bought all the parts, they didn't have one. Outside of that, it's a quick, well, I say it's a quick, simple fix. But it's better than what factory's gonna be. Yeah. Personally, if we would have had more time, 
I would have felt a lot better about pulling out the the whole axle. But that being said, I don't feel bad. Yeah. I don't not trust or think we did a good job. It's just who I am. I think the only thing pulling out the axle would have done would have helped screw that piece in. Yeah. I think it was I think we did just fine drilling it, did just fine tapping it. It just putting in that angled piece, it just didn't want to swing all the way. So Well, we could have probably pulled the upper control arm for that. We could have pulled the upper control arm and pulled the little rubber spacer that's in there and probably had enough room. Yeah. But I had the straight one too, so yeah. So there's that. You have options. Yes, there's lots that, of options. That's the that's the moral of it. Yeah. You have options. But well, that's about it. It's yeah. going to protect everything. It's probably going to it's probably going to protect it better than stock did. So, other than that, hope you enjoyed it. If it's the first time you've been here, like, subscribe, and share, please. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.